still out in the same place as yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's a little bit of a, a winding path right there in the middle of the image. It's as high as I could get my tripod to, uh, to point down on it. But as I've walked this trail so many times, I, I still love the beauty of that and, and other paths like that that just remind me of how our paths in our lives and in our journeys of faith are not always straight. They're not always smooth, but instead at times they're uphill, at times there's curves where we don't see what is around the bend, there's times that they're rocky or muddy. But when you step back and look at it, you can see the whole path laid out. There's a saying, or for a quote that's attributed to uh, C.S. Lewis who says, it's funny how day by day nothing seems to change, but when you look back, everything is different. And I know this isn't in camera right now. We'll see if we can move this around a little bit. I've actually got an audience for today. I'm gonna go down here might be able to see them moving around down there. A couple of deer who decided that uh, today was the day to join in uh, taking a listen. They're actually standing there looking at me. So you two deer, this one's for you and for everyone who is watching and listening today. From Psalm 10. Why, O Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In arrogance, the wicked persecute the poor. Let them be caught in the schemes they have devised. For the wicked boast of the desires of their heart. Those greedy for gain curse and renounce the Lord. In the pride of their countenance, the wicked say, God will not seek it out. And their thoughts are, there is no God. Their ways prosper at all times. Your judgments are on high out of their sight. As for their foes, they scoff at them. They think in their heart, we shall not be moved. Throughout all generations, we shall not meet adversity. Their mouths are filled with cursing and deceit and oppression. Under their tongues are mischief and iniquity. They sit in ambush in the villages and hiding places. They murder the innocent. Their eyes stealthily watch for the helpless. They lurk in secret like a lion in its covert. They lurk that they may seize the poor. They seize the poor and drag them off in their net. They stoop, they crouch, and the helpless fall by their might. They think in their heart, God has forgotten. He has hidden his face. He will never see it. Rise up, O Lord. O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the oppressed. Why do the wicked renounce God and say in their hearts, you will not call us to account? But you do see. Indeed, you note trouble and grief that you may take it into your hands. The helpless commit themselves to you. You have been the helper of the orphan. Break the arm of the wicked and the evildoers. Seek out their wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations shall perish from his land. O oh Lord, you will hear the desire of the meek. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to do justice for the orphan and the oppressed so that those from the earth may strike terror no more. As you can see, I moved the camera back to uh, trying to focus on that path a bit. The title of this, uh, the poem for today, written by Leighton E. Williams, is Tell Me Something Better. Focusing on verse one of that psalm we just heard. Why, O Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? Daily I proclaim my faith that you are here always. But daily, too, I fear that you are not. How can you sit idle watching as this world falls to the ones who would destroy it before they would share it? The ones who would destroy us 
all before calling is equal. Does your gut twist like mine at the anguished cries of the suffering and the scared? Tell me that you hear them. Tell me that you care. Tell me that you do not feel as helpless as I do in the face of all of this brokenness. Even better, tell me that feeling helpless doesn't mean that we are. Tell me that feeling helpless doesn't mean that we are. That is a statement that's going to stick with me. Because in so many things right now, yeah, it is so easy to feel helpless. But we are not. We are not helpless. We are people of prayer. We are people of hope. We are people of proclamation. We are people who speak of a God who is our rock, who is our foundation, who is that solid place upon which we may build our lives. And like that path that I said when we started, that path can sometimes feel windy and can feel like there's a lot of unknowns ahead. But day by day, as we do the work that God calls us to do, as we are continuing to be God's hands and God's feet in the world as best as we are able right now, the day by day, while we feel like nothing may have changed, my friends, there is a day coming. And even right now, times when we can look back and see how everything has changed. A practice I would encourage for you in this time maybe is to just simply do some journaling. Journal what you feel, journal what you think, journal what you're doing. Write down who you're calling and who you're reaching out to, how you're connecting with people. And when all this is behind us, to be able to look back and see, and see the work of God's hands through yours. Grace and peace be with you.